<laughs> We've got to talk about Manchester United because they faced Brentford this weekend. They didn't get off to the best of starts. And Needham has them in fourth. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick him up on that. Don't you worry. Now, one story today from ESPN sources is that Ten Hag has actually been playing up United squad and their chances against the advice of the club, who reportedly want him to lower expectations given how poor last season was. Wonder what you make of this, Craig? Well, I think expectations were lowered after last week anyway. I mean, no matter what Eric Ten Hag says. It's a difficult one because, like, it's all talk. It's all talk at the end of the day. And the only thing that matters is what Manchester United do in transfer recruitment and on the field. And if last week was anything to go by, it, you know, there's obviously a long way to go. Not that that was a, a big surprise, but just to say that one arrival and one new guy is not going to, not going to all of a sudden make them make them into a bit of magic. But <clears throat> it's unsurprising if this is true from the club because th this is a club hierarchy that have overseen this recruitment policy and they've allowed these people for the most part to stay in charge. And so by doing that, they're pretty much saying, well, we're happy with what you've done and you've made us some money in the business. Uh, you've made some poor choices in the recruitment and we've spent a lot of money, but you know we're okay with that. And so... Behind the scenes, I think they're very happy with mediocrity. Uh, they may not say that publicly, but by by their actions, they've been happy with with what they've uh, put out in the field. And so it's no surprise that he comes in with a much more positive attitude. And behind the scenes, they're saying, no, why not you just go out and tell people we're actually garbage? Uh, <laughs> and I think from a new manager's perspective, uh, well, well, let's be honest, if, if people have got Man United fourth, fifth, sixth, maybe some have got them seventh, I don't know. <laughs> then for that club, that that's uh, with, with their amount of money, they're standing on the world stage, that, that's garbage, absolute garbage. And so why wouldn't Eric Ten Hag be a bit more positive and try and get, you know, a bit more enjoyment about the place? You know, I, that, that's rather worrying for me that the mindset of some behind the, behind the scenes at this football club... But I don't think to most it will come as a huge surprise. Uh, people who may have them finishing fourth or in the top four come the end of the season. People like Nadam and Nua. Mm. So my thought when I was putting these top six in was like some teams were down in Sharpie, but United were very much in a light pencil, you know, so you can just erase <laughs> it very quickly when things start going wrong. <laughs> but, but, what, but what I will say with them, like, I hope this report isn't true because it is ridiculous in my opinion. I think that there are enough players at the club who know how good they are or how bad they are. So if somebody comes in and tries to sort of say you're something else, it's not going to work because you see it. But when a new manager comes in, the expectation is he's been brought in to try and make you better. So if somebody comes in and they try and dampen your expectations, well, what do they think the players expected after finishing sixth or wherever it was last year? Were they expecting to win the league this next year? Well, probably not. So what would the new manager say? He's got to come in. He's got to gauge what's good about the players, what's bad about the players, and create a strategy that tries to sort of bring out the best in them. So I think it's a funny sort of report because last I checked, you know, a manager can say you're good or say you're bad, but ultimately you're either good or you're bad and you go out there and you show that week in, week out. So I think it did kind of miss the point, in my opinion. And at the end of the day, what's the harm in him saying to the players that they're good? Like, I've had some managers who said to players, you know, you're the best this, you're the best that. Like, one example was Sven Goran Eriksson saying, so I think to Kasper Schmeichel, I think you're a really good goalkeeper. This is when he was at Man City. Kasper believed that he played, and now he's, you know, he's played 10, 11 years for Leicester. He's won a Premier League, won an FA Cup, and now he's playing in Nice. You know, that sort of thing. Positivity can help you a little bit. So if the report is true and they're upset that somebody's tried to be positive when they've come to the club, when they've hired him, they've headhunted him to come to the football club, I think missing a point would be an understatement. And ultimately for me, like I can say, you know, can, just it's what new managers do. Try to be positive. Can you, can, can you imagine Eric Ten Hag going to a press conference and going, can you believe somebody's paid $100 million for Jaden Sancho? I can't think of. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I've just I've watched 18 months of Man United and Marcus Rashford ain't kicked a ball. He ain't kicked a ball. Oh, and I can't wait to get that Jesse Lingard yeah. out to Nottingham Forest. I mean, what kind of ridiculous stuff? Yeah. The, the, amount, the amount of nonsense that's come out of this place in the last few years is quite yeah. scary. And uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. 
I just worry for them this year. It's, I'm sure Eric Ten Hag will, will manage to get them molded into something that's half decent. But their transfer rec- recruitment, and we talked about it yesterday, the way they go about it is is, is mind-bogglingly average. Yeah, great. One thing I'd say is never worry about Man United. Like, they've spent a lot of time not worrying about anybody else. So they've had their success, you know. I'm sure they'll come back at some point. Let's not worry about them. But what I would say, the opposite, by the way, in terms of managers being enthusiastic, was um, I think it was 2012, and we had Harry Redknapp come in at QPR to replace Mark Hughes. And this was just after he'd been linked with the England job and all this. You know, he had a very big reputation. But when he arrived at the training ground, I've never seen somebody look so miserable in all my days. We'd be training, and he's kicking the ground, shaking his head like, oh, my God, you know, we were bad. But I thought, well, <laughs> this wasn't the new manager bounce that I thought was, uh, was coming. So, you know, I could say that also didn't work. So he pretty much made it clear that he didn't think we were any good. And lo and behold, we got relegated. So, you know, there's no harm in a bit of positivity because worse comes to worst. Maybe you can trick them into thinking that they're actually a great team, great club, and can be very successful. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.